If you suspect one of the buttons on your Xbox controller isn't functioning properly, I'm going to show you two different ways to test so that you can confirm there is a problem. The first way is very easy and can be done through an Xbox One or a Series X or S. If you don't have an Xbox, hold on for a moment. Go to Settings, Devices and Connections, Accessories, Find on the screen a photo of your controller. If you don't have an Xbox, you can get this same exact screen to appear on your PC by downloading the Xbox Accessories app and then connecting your controller to the PC. Click the little flask symbol. Proceed to press buttons. With each press, a symbol should appear at the bottom representing that press. The test will not work for these two buttons. If there is a button not reacting as you would expect, it's time for you to look at some repair videos, such as one of mine, or if you'd like to investigate further, try this other method, which may yield more information about the issue. This time we aren't using an Xbox, connect the controller to a PC or a phone using either a USB cable or by using Bluetooth. If you're using Bluetooth, make sure your Xbox is off if you have one, and the power cord needs to be unplugged. Otherwise, as you press buttons, you're gonna end up turning your Xbox on and it's gonna mess some things up. Pull up the website called Gamepad Tester. It's free, but there's some ads running that you might have to close. You might be thinking, couldn't I just use the online browser on the Xbox to pull up this site? Well, I tried that and could not get it to work. The site just doesn't function on the Xbox, at least on the Edge browser that I used. So when you're on the site, hit some buttons on the controller and it'll bring you straight to the test screen. Every button push you do will register somewhere on the screen. I have no idea why it says Xbox 360 at the top. It could be that some of the components are the same. Once again, if some something isn't functioning as expected, consult a YouTube video on how to fix it. The big advantage to this test over the other one is that you can test how precise your analog sticks are. You can see if you had the full range of motion on the two thumbsticks. If one seems jittery, I suggest you clean it, which I have a video about. You may also notice that when you're not pushing the analog stick, the dot may not center perfectly. Normally, I'm not too concerned about it unless I see it affecting something in a game and normally it doesn't. You can also test the analog for the LT and RT buttons. You'll wanna make sure that it registers all levels of pressure that you put on it. If you're detecting issues with your analog sticks, I suggest you head over to my video about it, which is linked on the screen in front of you. I show you some very easy things to do that can solve the issue. Take care, everybody.